today we are going to discuss about the topic sensors and transducers as we all know that we are in the lockdown period our classes are being conducted as online classes therefore please listen to the lecture and be benefited out of it okay before going into the class i want to introduce myself i am dr t balvin emmanuel associate professor triple e department of amit deemed to be university and today i am going to take a lecture on the topic sensors and transducers actually in industries we go for sensors and transducers these devices replace manpower which increases the efficiency of the machineries which is being used in day to day life okay students we'll go on to the lecture that actually the fifth unit deals with the sensors and transducers okay and uh, we'll be uh, asked to measure the speed or uh, will be asked to measure the pressure okay or the temperature with the help of sensors and transducers okay now first we have to know what is a sensor and what is a transducer or we have to know what is the difference between a sensor as well as a transducer if that is the case sensor is defined as an element which produces signal relating to the quantity being measured that means if the actual what is the actual quantity the that quantity will be actually sensed and it will be given to the uh, given as a output if it is a system related it has to be converted to the digital system and it has to be given if uh, if we want to see monitor the things if we want the audio output that means the audio signal has to be generated and it has to be given okay if i want to have a written statement like this sir record panunga sir record panunga sir record aagala na um avula sir pakkada chat pala record aagudha aa adha avula record avudhu sir aagudhu thana aa actually if if we want uh, the uh, sensor output to be written in a typed manner that means we want it in our language it has to be converted okay like that sensors are the devices which sense some particular object or uh, particular element okay and it will be given as the output as as we are uh, well familiar about it okay then if it is a transducer it is a device that convert a signal from one form of energy to another that means see a mechanical output which has been uh, sensed but i am as an electrical engineer i want the output with respect to electrical side electrical parameters that means i want it with respect to voltage or current that means this transducer will convert the mechanical form of energy into electrical form okay that will be called as transducer or it is an element which converts a special specified measurement into a usable output by using a transduction principle okay we'll go to the measuring things that is measurement of temperature what are the devices used for measurement of temperature i think we have uh, done some experiments when we are doing met lab okay we done experiments with the help of rtd rtd is nothing but resistance temperature detectors okay in this rtd if you see the principle of operation this rtd if a material a material is been heated up 
then the resistance of the if you notice the resistance of the material the resistance of the material will be increased okay that is the property or operation principle of the rtd okay if you see the the down you will be having a graph where resistance versus temperature as the resistance as the temperature increases automatically the resistance will be increased therefore you can have a multimeter or a uh, measuring device to measure the resistance of the material or rtd so that you can indirectly tell that the temperature is uh, increased or decreased okay and uh, here in the construction of the rtd you have a setup where the wheatstone bridge is been given in the wheatstone bridge one leg of the wheatstone bridge is been given to the rtd that means the resistance is been controlled by, with the help of the temperature therefore uh, if you are going to give the voltage as the input to the wheatstone bridge then the output voltage will vary according to the wheatstone uh, that is uh, the rtd resistance okay by the variation of the output voltage easily we can identify that the resistance has been increased or decreased or we can tell that this is the temperature actual temperature this of the uh, resistance temperature detectors next you have the thermistors okay for measuring of temperature you can use thermistor thermistor is nothing but it's also a temperature thermal resistor okay here we use the element that is semiconductor materials semiconductor material as we all know that see during normal condition this semiconductor material will be acting as an insulator okay here when the high voltage is been given okay or the heat is been given then the material will be acting as a conductor that's why the name came as semiconductor that means sir this device thermistor will be a device where if uh, it subjected to temperature automatically the resistance value will be reduced okay if the resistance value is reduced only we will be telling it as conductor okay if the resistance value is more then we will be telling it as insulator therefore here uh, uh, in the previous case rtd the resistance as the temp as the temperature increases the resistance value was increased but here in case of the thermistor the as the temperature increases the resistance value will start decreasing okay the next uh, device which can be used for measurement of temperature will be thermocouple okay thermocouple is nothing but it's a junction of uh, two dissimilar metals okay if you see the figure you have a uh, metal metal a and you have metal b these two metals are joined and in this junction the uh, material is been heated up okay if the material is been heated up if an atom is been for example if an atom is been heated up or a voltage is been given to an atom what happens free electrons will be liberated if free electrons are been liberated then we tell that the current flows through the circuit when the current flows through a circuit whenever a potential difference or an electrical potential rises that means here if the heat is been given to the junction of the material do two dissimilar materials or metals see the metal a will experience a potential difference and the material metal b will experience another potential uh -huh. difference okay therefore the potential difference will be varied and here in this setup you have a display in order to support the display you have a separate compensating potential difference okay so that this uh, the voltage which has been appeared across metal a and b will be appeared in the display this uh, this a working of the thermocouple i think these three things we have done in the lab practical classes okay and then the uh, position and displacement sensors position see uh, if we want to know the movement of the object we want to either we have to identify what is the position actual position of the device okay therefore we need some position sensors here first one we will be seeing the eddy current 
proximity sensors generally we go for proximity sensors okay here eddy current proximity sensors sir if you see the diagram block diagram which is been given below you have an oscillator circuit okay if this oscillator circuit is been given a supply then automatically a magnetic field will be developed if you see the left hand side high frequency magnetic field this magnetic field will be available in this area sorry in this area if you are going to uh, allow or pass or make any metal object to come okay at that time this metal object it is been said that uh, non magnetic but conducting material if it is a conducting material then automatically what happens eddy current will be flowing through the material okay if eddy current flows through the material then automatically this material will be creating a magnetic field which affects the main magnetic field okay resulting in the uh, reduction in the alternating current okay if the alternating current is been reduced then easily you can have a current sensor in the amplify amplitude uh, uh, detecting circuit and it can be given to a output circuit it can have a display or anything which tells that yes there is a uh, object obstacle okay you can have a buzzer also so that uh, immediately instantaneously you can easily check whether the object has been uh, present or not this one type next is proximity switches see we can have use the light emitting devices we have you can have led you can have photodiodes or phototransistors see in the first diagram if you see in the first block you have led okay therefore light is been developed and the, in the second block you have the photo detector device okay you can have a photodiode with a circuit a closed circuit if you see over here uh, whenever my light falls on the photodiode my actual circuit will be closed okay here there will be a secondary circuit which will be closed whenever i am going to have a uh, obstacle whenever i am going to block the uh, this light falling on the photodiode then automatically the circuit will be tripped at that time i can have a external circuit telling that there is an obstacle okay or i can have a second diagram i ha i have the uh, light emitting diode as well as photodiode in the same block okay if you see that um i if if an object comes at that time my light will be uh, reflected by my object and it will be falls on the photodiode then it can be operated in both the cases here in the first case if the case is false so that mean, that means if light doesn't falls on the photodiode or photo detector then my circuit will tell that there is a fault there is an intruder or there is an obstacle okay in the second case when light falls on the photo detector then my uh, device will tell that there is an obstacle okay in both the cases we can uh, have the device and we can easily uh, sense the position of the device or object or we can have a obstacle we can uh, sense that whether the obstacle is coming or not we you can have it in a door also uh, if some rooms are been isolated then you can have this arrangement okay if you are going to introduce in, uh, if you are going to enter into a room okay then this path will be blocked at that time automatically it will tell that some unauthorized entry is been present okay many of you might have uh, used in the mini projects or you might have uh, you will be doing it the main project also this is a common concept which has been used okay this for uh position for sensing the position next for displacement see if you go for displacement we have a sensor which is called as potentiometer sensor potentiometer we know that it's a rotating device a resistance will be uh, in the circuit 
here if you see the first element will be having the the linear motion okay the wire has been stripped over there in the same shaft you have the potentiometer as well as the coil this coil will be there so that it will not make the uh, potentiometer to break the, that is uh, it will if it is having a desired length for rotation it will allow the spring will allow only till that uh, point only okay here if you see you have a wiper arrangement that is will slide according to the movement of the shaft okay as the shaft is being moved automatically in the right hand side you have the diagram equivalent electrical diagram of this potentiometer therefore this knob the sliding contact if you see this contact will be varied you will be having a internal voltage applied over here because of this this ba will get varied you have the formula of calculation is here therefore ba can be varied uh, with the help of these formulas and automatically you can calculate what is the uh, displacement length okay without measuring the device by only using this formula by uh, measuring the voltage you can easily tell that yes this is the displacement which has been made okay the next one will be your lvdt i think you might have studied earlier but uh, still to refresh you uh, lvdt is nothing but linear variable differential transformer see in linear variable differential transformer you will be having three sets of coils the first coil will be called as primary coil where you will be giving the supply okay the secondary coil will be of two uh, the two halves okay of similar value or the winding will be similar therefore the emf induced will be also same okay and these two coils will be connected in such a way that the output will be zero that means it opposes the wiring connection has been made such that each coil opposes each other and the output will be zero that means now uh, the in the first diagram first diagram is the main diagram which will be seen the internal construction diagram if you see the armature the armature is been placed in the center part okay that means the this armature is nothing but the core okay because of this core if they are going to give the supply to the primary side it will be uh, given to the uh, secondary coil 1 as well as coil 2 therefore the output voltage will be v out will be zero see if the armature is been moved okay if it is been moved upwards that means my coil that is the secondary coil one will be energized so more voltage will be induced in one than compared to the two that means sir i will be getting some uh, difference voltage in the output okay if i am going to reduce uh, i am going to pull down the armature that means my voltage will be the voltage developed in the secondary coil 2 will be more than compared to coil 1 that means by using this device itself easily i can measure where the uh, my armature is been present whether it has been moved upwards or downwards whether it has been fixed in the center okay using this i can easily identify the position of the armature okay next i'll uh, will have the uh, speed sensor speed sensor as we all know that we have tachometers okay in the machines lab and all for measuring the speed we'll be using tachometers what is the role of a tachometer sir we'll be keeping the tachometer in uh, parallel with the shaft therefore the shaft uh, will be rotated and uh, it will be Uh, measuring the if it is a digital tachometer then digital output will be there uh, or the values will be seen here it is a tacho generator tacho generator means it is generating okay uh, therefore here if you see 
this uh, teethed wheel is being placed and you will be having a magnet setup. Okay, whenever a current carrying conductor cuts a magnetic field, EMF will be induced. As we all know, this will be aligned with the shaft. Okay, therefore what happens as the machine motor rotates, as we are going to measure the speed, at that time this tooth, uh, toothed wheel I hope the presentation was very informative and you students might be benefited out of the presentation and the remaining topic will be discussed in the forthcoming classes. In this class we have discussed about the industrial applications of sensors and transducers. I hope you all enjoyed the video and have a good day. Thank you.